What is going on everybody? So today I'm going to be giving you guys a tutorial. Uh, it's going to be showing you guys how to update your Minecraft server. Um, so before we get into it, I just want to say if anything that I've done in the past or am doing right now currently has helped you guys out, be sure to drop a like on the video, please. I really appreciate it. And uh, if you guys want to see anything from me in the future, uh, be sure to subscribe. Uh, you can click that bell icon to be notified. Um, if you guys have any questions about anything that happens in this video, uh, definitely check the comments section to see if I've answered a similar question yet, because I find you guys asking a lot of the same questions. I know once there's a lot of comments down there, it can be hard to sift through them all, but if you can't find it, drop it, and uh, I'll try to respond to all the comments down there. And uh, definitely leave some ideas for future tutorials you guys want me to make, or even any kind of content that you guys want to see from me, because I kind of want to get into doing some Let's Plays, uh, maybe hopping on some servers, doing some other stuff with maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe you guys, we could maybe collaborate and do something. So just give me some ideas and drop some comments down below. So uh, let's just get right into it. So a lot of you guys have been asking me in the comments section, over the past couple weeks, um, how do I update my server? Because 1.15 came out, I made a video about it, and then 1.15.1 dropped, and now we're on 1.15.2, and I haven't made a video about that. I mean, yeah, you can go back and you can remake the entire server, but what if you want to preserve your world? What if you want to preserve your settings and all that stuff? It, it is possible to do that, so I'm going to show you how to do that today. So uh, here we are right now. This is, tutorial. this is the tutorial that we set up a while back. Uh, you can see that it's on 1.15. My client that I'm on right now is 1.15.2. And you can see that the server, we can't join it because it's on 1.15. It says outdated server, I'm still on 1.15. So we got to fix that problem. So to do that, we're going to hop over to our server. Um, and you can see that I have it running right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in stop to close the server because that's the correct way to close the server. If you guys don't know by now, make sure you type stop. Don't click this X up here because you can corrupt your world file, your player data. Uh, it's not very common, but I have experienced it and it sucks if you don't have a backup. So press any key to continue. And yeah, uh, the one thing that we're concerned with is inside of our server working directory we got here. Uh, we're worried about this server.jar. This file right here is what determines what version of Minecraft your server will run. So even though there's no numbers on this or anything, we have to get a different version of this file right here and replace it. So right now this is the 1.15 server jar. What we need to go online and get, and go right to the Minecraft website just like we normally do, and we gotta get the 1.15.2 jar. So go to the website and you can just type download after that. that's how I do it. There's many ways to get to this page. Uh, scroll down where it says download Minecraft Java Edition server software. Get it here. You click on that and you'll bring you to this familiar page. And you download right here and you click on the server jar. And make sure if this pops up, it says this type of file could harm your computer. Do you want to keep the server jar anyway? Make sure you click keep. It's not a virus. Uh, this is just Chrome saying that, hey, I don't know what this file is that you just downloaded. And uh, I just I'm trying to make sure that you meant to download it. And we did. So make sure you click keep. And I can promise you guys it's totally safe. This is coming straight from Mojang. Uh, Chrome does that with any type of jar file you download or any exe or anything like that. So now that we have it, I'm going to take the server jar and I'm going to drag it straight to my desktop. I did that by moving it all the way down to the bottom right. And the bottom right, if you drag something, it'll close all your windows and you can drop it straight onto your desktop. And what we're going to want to do is open up our 1.15 server that we got and see how it's called server.jar. We want to make sure that we name this one exactly the same as the old one. So this is the new one, this is the old one. We want to right click, click rename, and make sure this is just server.jar, not server3 like we had it. So you guys might have different numbers, or you might not have any numbers after it, but just make sure these two are called the exact same thing. And then delete the old one. It's as simple as deleting the old one. You gotta make sure your servers shut down when you're doing this, otherwise it won't let you delete that file. And then you just basically want to replace it. So drag the new one in. And there you go. It's literally as simple as that. And start up your new server. And once it launches, we should see that it's going to start a 1.15.2 server instead of a 1.15. See? Right here, starting Minecraft server version 1.15.2. 
and we're gonna let it uh, load up the spawn area and we'll hop back onto the Minecraft client and uh, we'll get to see that all the settings got retained. So now it's done, let's hop back over to our Minecraft client and you can see that it still says 1.15, 1.15 test server. You can see we have a picture right here and my message of the day. Let's refresh this. And hey, now we can join. So let's hop on. And here we are. So yeah, that was pretty much uh, all there is to it, guys. You just really have to replace that server.jar. And, uh, yeah, your world will still be the same, your player data, everything will get retained. And that's how you, uh, so you update your Minecraft server, guys. So this should work across versions. Uh, going backwards is honestly the same thing, but you can lose some data. I'll make a whole other video explaining how to go backwards, because it's, it's a little bit more complicated, but really, really just the general same idea. But that's going to be it for this one, guys. Uh, if this helped you in any way at all, make sure you drop a like. And subscribe if you want to see anything from me in the future. And uh, if you have any questions, make sure you comment down below. I'm also looking for new ideas. If you guys have any, you know, ideas or anything, any tutorials you really want me to make or you want something explained, I can try to do that. Or if you guys have any other ideas for content that you might want to see me do, definitely let me know because uh, I'm looking for ideas. So uh, other than that, uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.